Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Daniel Dubov and Ding Liren. This is a game from Opera Euro Rapid Tournament 2021. Daniel Dubov had white pieces and he started with d4. Ding Liren played knight to f6, knight to f3, d5, c4, the queen's gambit, maybe. e6 declined and now g3, the Catalan opening. Bishop to b4 check, knight from b to d2, d takes on c4, the open Catalan. Bishop to g2, black to move. a5 was played. Castling. b5. And c3 are the three most played moves. c3 looks like a good move for black, but black doesn't have a good results from this opening. Back to our game. a5. Asking a question. Bishop takes on d2. Check. Bishop takes bishop. Dingley then castle king's side. Queen to c2. b5 defending the pawn. a4. c6. Why to move? Castling was expected. Another very common move in these Catalan games is knight to e5, putting the pressure on the pawn on c6. There was a surprise. h4. How good is this surprise? Knight from b to d7, and now h5 threatening h6. This is a very important moment of the game. Dingliren played h6. Surely he considered bishop to b7, but didn't like h6. Black would then have to play g6, but it seems that the black king is not in an immediate danger. Back to our game. In this position we have h6, why to move? And now comes a second surprise, but I guess it makes sense to play this move in this position. And the move is... What would you do? The move is g4, intending g5. An incredible idea. Maybe. What if black takes the pawn? And this is what happened. Knight takes on g4. White to move and to reveal his plan with the next move. And the move is... Pawn takes pawn on b5. Black to move. Bishop to b7. If c takes on b5, then queen to e4, forking two pieces. Back to our game. Bishop to b7. White to move. How would you continue now? Dubo played knight to h2. Black to move. Black is in trouble. Knight takes on f2 split. Let's take it back. How about knight takes knight on h2? One line goes like this. b takes on c6. Bishop takes pawn. Bishop takes bishop. Rook to a7. Bishop takes on d7. Rook takes bishop. Rook takes on h2. And white is better. Back to our game. In this position we have knight takes on f2, king takes knight, queen to h4 check, king to f1, queen to f6 check, white played the move and black resigned, and the move is bishop to f3, ding Liren resigned. For the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line, rook from f to c8 because the rook on a8 is defending the pawn on a5, so let's play rook from f to c8, then knight to g4 attacking the queen, queen to e7, rook to g1, this doesn't look very pretty for the black king, does it? King to h8, and now it is possible for white to continue in more than one way, but perhaps this is the prettiest move. Bishop takes on h6, pawn takes bishop, Queen to d2, 
queen to f8, queen takes pawn on h6 check, queen takes queen, knight takes queen, threatening to take on f7, after rook to f8, b takes on c6. And I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.